Hello, Math 6. Mrs. Spence. This week we have been adding and subtracting integers or positive and negative numbers, and we are going to look at how to use the war and party method in order to add and subtract positive and negative numbers. Um, we've learned a couple of different ways, and you just need to stick with whichever method really works with you and it makes your brain happy. But we had the number line. We have the rules, just memorizing rules. We have those jingles that you can listen to and remember that if same signs you're going to add, if they're different signs you're going to subtract, same sign, keep the sign, different, keep the larger. Um, or you can use this war and party. So I wanted to do the video on war and party because I know it's something that probably is not as familiar to some of your parents. Um, I know that it was new to me when I learned about it a couple of years ago. So I want this to be that what we look at with our video um, to just refresh us because it really is a great visual for the rules that you are learning. Okay, so we're going to start. I don't have integer chips here with me, so I'm going to use red dots for my negatives and green dots for my positives. And we're going to demonstrate this with modeling. Um, before we just kind of go into just looking at the integers and we can picture in our head what the integer chips would look like. Okay, so we need to decide is this a war or is this a party? All right, so we have two red ones or two negatives and we have three positives. Okay. So if I'm looking at this, if this was a party, then we would know that we would have all the same color. So we have a negative two. Remember, we need to look in front of our number to see the sign. And we have a positive three. Now remember, addition and positive are the same thing. That's why they use the same symbol. So we are going to be looking at this instead of as addition, we're going to be looking this at this as its sign. So that three is a positive. All right, so we have two negatives and we have three positives. Well, they're not going to a party, they're going to war because in this math universe, they don't get along and they are going to be fighting each other because they're different, which is unfortunate. All right, so if we line them up like old timey battles where they would line up and they would go one on one and with bayonets and things, they would take each other out we would see that this positive and negative cancels each other out. And this is a concept that we learned with the identity property, that one positive and one negative cancels out to zero. And we definitely see that when we know that one minus one is zero or a positive one and a negative one would equal zero, okay? So this positive one and this negative one will cancel out to nothingness here. Same thing with this one. And then we see that there's only one survivor left and that survivor sign is, it's green. So it was positive. So we know that it's going to be our answer, positive one, because there's only one positive soldier left behind in that battle, okay? Now, if we didn't wanna to have to draw these pictures every single time, then what we would be looking at is we have negative and positive. Those are opposite sides. So they're going to be fighting, okay? And we're gonna come up here to the war. So who's gonna win? Whoever wins is the person with the most men in their army. So the positives have three and the negatives have two. So obviously we have positives having a larger army. There's gonna be some men standing after the people take each other out. So we know who is going to win we have our positives gonna win. And then by how much, or by how many, it should actually say. Um, so how many soldiers are gonna be left standing at the end? So we would find out, okay, the difference of two and three is one, and we said that it's going to be a positive, so our answer would be positive one. Okay, the next example we're going to look at is negative 3 plus negative 3, or this could also be written as negative 3 minus 3. All right, so remember this addition sign here is just telling us that we're going to combine some things. And this 
also is telling us that we're combining things, but we're combining a negative. So they just got rid of the two symbols into one, the one that needs to stay, which is that negative, that negative there. All right, so I'm gonna demonstrate this. So we have negatives, that's our red color, and there are three of them. And then we're gonna have join them three more negatives, so still red. And so that is this one. Now, I wanna demonstrate how this is the same as this by modeling it. So again, I have three negatives, so that's three reds. And my second one is, look in front, three negatives as well. So this is demonstrating that these are the same expressions. This one just has a, a one less symbol. Okay, so with this, if we are going to mix these guys up, all right, I just shuffle them all around, okay? You're not gonna be able to tell which one started in my first grouping and which one was in my second grouping, okay? And so we're looking at this and we're saying, are they gonna fight or are they gonna get together and have a party? So with them all being the same color, being on the same team, we have a party this time. All right, so we're gonna go down here. So what does party mean? That everybody is getting together. So we're gonna take these three and these three and I'm just gonna pull one from here and one from here and one from here, one from here. This is if I were just take, picking them up and putting them over here and okay. So they're all getting together. I can't remember which one came from the top row and which one came from the bottom row because it doesn't really matter. Once they get together, you can just mix them all up. They could dance and have a fun time and you would not need to know which one was the beginning and which one was the ending grouping, okay? All right, so everybody is joining up. They're getting together. They're adding or combining together. And then who is getting together? Is it a party for the positives or a party for the negatives? And we know that it is the negatives that are getting together because they were negatives and they're red, all right? And then how many of them are getting together for this party? So we had three people there originally and three more negatives joined them. So we have a total of six negatives getting together. So our answer to this problem would be negative six, okay? The same thing would be for this. We combine all of those up. They're all on the same team. They are all negative and there are six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six that are together. So our answer is negative six for that one. All right, this next example looks like a traditional subtraction problem, but you see that we have this smaller number in front and we're trying to subtract more from a smaller amount, okay? So let's look at this one um, with the modeling of the integers. All right, so the first number is a positive four. We know that because we look in front and there's no sign, so we assume that it's positive. So we have positive four. And then the second number that we have there is a six, but there's a subtraction symbol there or there's a negative sign. They mean the same thing. So I'm gonna picture this as negative six. And because they're different, positives and negatives are different, I'm gonna line them up because they're gonna be going to war. So there's four, five, and six, okay? So we're gonna say this is a war, so who's gonna win? Well, it's very obvious that this army is going to win because they have more soldiers, all right? So that's our negatives. The negatives are gonna win, and by how many? All right, well these take each other out, they cancel out, cancel out, cancel out, and we see that this is what survives. So we have a negative two as our answer. Okay, now let's think about that in terms of money. If I have $5 and I go to Target and I see something and I wanna buy it, but it costs $6, I'm gonna be in debt to mom or dad $2. I'm going to owe them $2 when we get home because I only brought four and I bought something that cost six, so I'm in debt $2. All right, and then we get into some of our special situations, like when we have double negatives side by side. Sometimes you might see this written like this, where they keep parentheses around the negative two to show that the signs need to be broken apart. 
Um, but we know that a double negative cannot exist in English and it cannot exist in math either. So if I do not not like something, that means that I truly do like it. So I say, I do not not like puppies. I do not not like them, which means that I do actually like them. Okay, so we have a not not, a double negative. So we know before we do anything, we need to fix those two double negatives or any sign that's side by side without a number in between need to get fixed. We don't want to have double signage, okay? So immediately we know that this guy can come over here and turn that into a positive. So our two lines turn this one upside down and make it a true positive situation and because we used it, it goes away, all right? So our double negative and your teacher probably had you do your hands. If we have double negatives, there we go. Double negatives, take this one and make it the other part of your positive symbol, okay? All right, so now we want to rewrite our problem. It is now 3 plus 2 instead of 3 minus negative 2. All right, and if you're picturing a number line, we start at positive 3, and we're going negative means go to the left. Uh-oh, but reverse, reverse like that line dance. This says go left, then this one says no, reverse that, go to the opposite way. So we're now going right, two more spots, and we're at positive five. Okay, reverse, reverse, or go left and then change it to the opposite. There's all sorts of ways that you can word this to make your brain understand what you need to do. All right, so we're here with three plus two. If you look in front of the three, you know that it's positive. And if you look in front of the two, it is now positive because we combined our signs. So we now know that we have a party going on. Okay, so all of these are the same color. They're all the same sign, positive and positive. So who's getting together? The positives are getting together, and how many of them? One, two, three, four, five. Five of them are getting together. All right. Here's one more example with a bunch of signs and things that need to be fixed. Okay, so remember, if you have two signs side by side without a number in between, we need to do some sign fixing. All right, this sign is fine because there's a number. So this one's safe, and we do know that this five is negative, looking at front. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw my negative five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now we gotta do some sign fixing, because we have signs side by side, whether the parenthesis is there or not. No number is in between these two signs, so we need to fix it. We have a double negative, make them a positive. Therefore, this parenthesis is no longer needed. And now we see that our six is no longer a double negative, but a positive. So I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six positives. Okay, we have a war. Who's going to win? Who has the bigger army? The positives do. And how many are going to be left standing once they cancel each other out? Just one. So positive one is our answer for this one. Okay, and just remember that this war and party visualization is just a reiterance of the rules for adding and subtracting positive and negative numbers. So remember, if you have the same sign, you're gonna do which operation? Addition or subtraction? That's right, you are going to do addition. Party is for when you have same signs. You're gonna add them. And when you have different signs, 
like this example here, you're going to have different colors or different armies, different groups, and that's going to be your war, and you're going to be finding the difference between who has the bigger army. That's a comparison, and you're saying, okay, how many are going to be left standing? That's subtraction. So you're going to subtract whenever there's different signs. Okay, and then the answer, the sign of the answer will be whoever has the largest, okay? Same sign, keep the sign. Different signs, keep the larger or the largest army. Okay, so I hope that that review for War and Party was helpful. It is such a great way. I've seen lots of different ways being a teacher for so many years uh, for adding and subtracting. And I can say that as you practice this way, it becomes just second nature to you. So keep giving it a try. Keep um, using the integer chips if you need to or just draw like I've done. Um, but as you begin to use these numbers over and over again, you'll just start looking in front and saying, oh, those are different signs. I'm going to subtract. And whoever had the larger sign, the six, that's going to be the sign of my answer. And it will definitely become second nature for you. So keep practicing.